What made you decide to say yes to the invitation to come to Paradise? Yeah, I think um, Paradise is a different experience from the show. So, um, you know, I was interested to see what, you know, this dynamic's like and, you know, meeting some new people. Excellent. So I have to ask you, mm -hmm. you kind of made some sparks fly, you made some headlines yeah. <laughs> after the final rose. Yeah. Um, you and Rachel went off together. Yeah. Um, so where did you leave things? Where did, you know, where do things stand, if you can share a little bit? Um, I mean, things are cordial. I think, you know, we try to, you know, make things happen or whatever, but it just didn't end up working out for us. Um, but perfectly content, not in a bad place, and um, happy for whatever she's doing, and I'm excited to be here and all that, so. Any thoughts on what if she shows up here? Um, I mean, you know, you never know who's going to be down there. Um, I mean, it should be interesting if she does show up. I'm not sure what would happen, but, you know, I'm not closed off or, or anything like that, so. Nice. Is there anyone that you're hoping is here on the beach? Um, to be honest, I don't know who's here, so it's hard to kind of pinpoint somebody. Um, I'm just excited to kind of go down there and meet new people and, you know, see if I can make a connection with somebody. Did you, after leaving The Bachelorette, did, did it change your thoughts on, on what's possible? Do you come here thinking yeah. anything's possible, I could find love here? Yeah, I think, you know, I definitely, after my experience, believe in this process. Um, so, you know, hopefully Paradise offers kind of a different dynamic and, you know, you get to spend more time and all that kind of stuff. So excited to see how that works and hopefully I can find somebody. Would you say that experience uh, changed you? Are you are you a different person somewhat? I definitely, for sure. Um, not in a, a bad way or anything, but I think it just taught me a lot about you know the way you can meet somebody, how short of amount of time you can build feelings for someone, and that's what kind of this is all about. So, yeah. what are you looking for in a partner? If you could sum it up. Um, I'm looking for somebody who just has you know relatable qualities to me. Um, is funny, gets along with me, and share kind of the same lifestyle is definitely important. What about the drama? Any plans yeah. on how to avoid like the love triangles or? Yeah, I mean, that? it's paradise, so there's probably gonna be something that happens. Um, but yeah, I'll probably just try to stay out of it, or if I'm a part of something, you know, just try to handle it as best as possible. You got any kind of strategy? Um, not really. I mean, I'm kind of just going down there open, seeing who's there, and then I'll figure out, you know, who I want to talk to and all that kind of stuff. And do you think you'd be ready for a proposal at the end of this? Like if, uh, I mean, we'll see. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna know that until the end, right? If, if I make it to the end. Someone down on one knee in front of you. And <laughs> if someone proposed <laughs> to me, that that would be crazy. So and we'll see. <laughs> All right, Avon. Tell me, tell us three things we didn't learn about you on The Bachelorette. Three things you didn't learn about me. Oh, gosh. Um, Could be anything. Fun facts, hobbies. Um. I'm not sure to come up with on the spot. Um, I think uh, my personality wasn't really shown that much, so I do have a big personality, um, outgoing, um, fun, all that kind of stuff, I think. Uh